Okay, so first and foremost, standard Alex IKEA nine drawers. Um, so this is what I store all of my makeup in, and then I have these bits on top. So this drawer's a mess to be honest. I have literally lip products in here for days that I've just got stored everywhere, and then I just have this over the top because it doesn't actually fit in my palette drawer yet. Um, so yeah, he's waiting to be used. So the second drawer is my lash drawer. So my favourite would 100% be the two um, Eldora lashes, M106, and I think these ones are M102. Yeah, M102. So they're my favourite lashes. I also really love the Primark Sultry Lashes. They're some of my faves. Um, I have some extra ones here. And then tweezers, lash glue, actually a nail glue, um, scissors. So yeah, this draw's a mess. And then I actually have my Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection here because I wanted it easier access because I live for this. It's my favorite. So that's the second drawer. Drawer number three. So in this drawer, these two are my setting sprays, so I've got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. Love those. And then this one we have like primers and such. This one has primer waters, so you've got the Primark Primer Water and then the Urban Decay D Slick as well, which is in there. And then I have a Benefit High Beam and a NYX Born To Go Liquid Illuminator in there, like liquidy situations and then in the primers we have the smoother which I don't this is from Maybelline I don't even think this is a thing anymore but if I have a really bad spot I put this over it and it covers it up for my foundation basically I have a mini tester of the silver max strobe cream because I love this and I can't bother to buy a new one yet um these are just some correcting primers at the back I've got a um, baby skin from Maybelline here, the Stila One Step Prime, L'Oreal Infallible is my, one of my faves, and then the Revolution Prime Oil as well. Okay, these are like my liquid illuminators, so I have one, two, three, five of the Makeup Revolution ones. Um, the liquid highlights. I really, really, really like mixing these in with my foundations. It makes them so glowy. Oh, I love it. Um, same with these, really. I've got the Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline and the Sleek Bare Kissed Illuminator in Monaco, which I did use in my first video, which I love and use quite a lot as well. And then just in the end here, I have some MAC and some NYX glitters pigments they go in there fake blood for halloween why not white makeup and the next glitter glue goes in there so that is drawer number three done drawer number four this one is so aesthetically pleasing so this section is foundations and these are concealers and this tray is from b&m and it's actually a cutlery tray um i have Revolution Conceal and Define, LA Girl, Maybelline Fit Me, Matt and Paula, Maybelline Superstay, Infallible 24 Hour, Rimmel 25 Hour Breathable. That's actually one of my favourites. And then I love the L'Oreal True Match as well. I use one. And, um, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, this is new. And the NARS, the All Day Luminous, wait, this foundation. Okay, and then in here I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I'm still testing, but I think, think I like this. I think I love it, actually. Um, and then I've got um, L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation. And these two are the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundations. So I have F2, which is my shade, and then F13, because I like dark contour. And these are, this is amazing for contouring cream contour sorry and then over here i've got the primark uh, double coverage matte foundation this is literally five pounds and it is so full coverage it felt too much and i like a full coverage and then here 
these are two of my absolute favourites. So I've got the Last Imperfection there, which I'm not so keen on the collection, but this foundation, the Illuminate and Touch From collection, I don't know what it is about this foundation, but this suits my skin so nice. I love the finish of this. So she's a fave. And then over here, you gals still got a Dream Matte Mousse. The Rimmel Wake Me Up, um, two Rimmel Match Perfections, because they match me really well in winter. And then a W7 Genius Featherlight Foundation, which if any of these foundations are too thick, like I like it with these two, the 24 hour Superstay and the 24 hour Infallible. Um, if you mix a couple of drops of that in, and then even a couple of drops of the Revolution um, Liquid Illuminators, Oh, beautiful. What a match made in heaven. So, love that. And then, concealer wise, covering conceal from MUA. Um, last in perfection, I've got a yellow one, a normal coloured one. I've got so many of these Maybellines because I literally live for them, but I am actually shade five. Uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. So, a couple of those. Um, Instant Age Rewind from um, Maybelline. I've got the Rimmel Match Perfection, which I actually really like, and I love the brushy situation. I've got a sheer cover one down there. Um, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And then the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer as well. So that is that drawer done. Now I'm going down. This drawer basically consists of mascaras, brows, liners, single shadows or cream shadows and then liquid highlight uh liquid liners and then liquid eyeshadows mascara wise benefit their real collection lash surge this is actually such a good mascara i love that one um maybelline the full seas classic i've got a unique one in here um this one i used to absolutely swear by as well literally the name's rubbed off lash superstar i think it is so that's my mascaras i do really really like the nyx um brow pencil and i use the shade chocolate i also really really like if i'm using a pomade i like the l'oreal one in the shade brunette as well my absolute ride or die brows wise is the skinny brow pencil in brown with the l'oreal Brow Artist Plumper but in light medium because it adds like a lighter touch to your brows and just gives a texture throughout. Can you tell I like that pencil because I've got two backups there. My Primark always runs out of this um, pencil so when it's in I always get like a couple to back it up. So in here we've just got loads of different liners. I like this one the best. L'Oreal Super Liner. The collection one's really nice because it's proper black but this one, like the tip of this, it's, I only use pen liners, it's the only ones I can use now. And then here, in this section, I've got all the Maybelline, um, what are these even called? Colour tattoos. Um, I've got pretty much all the shades. And I've got some single eyeshadows here. I've got my two Morphe shadows, which are stunning. Um, they're in Untamed and Gossip Girl love those this was my first ever expensive like makeup product and it's a brown um shadow from benefit called kiss me i'm tipsy and i used to rinse this like i loved it and then i have a natural collection little brow shadow because i used to i've hit pan i used to use this for my brows which was really really good crushed walnut it was like two pound love that so that's in there. Um, gel liners at the back, so I've got the Maybelline one, the Bobbi Brown one. This is like a brow palette from literally donkeys ago. I think it's from Revolution. Um, have an Anastasia eyeshadow here. Um, single eyeshadow, this is in Love Letter. Um, the liquid, vivid, bright eyeliners. I love these for festivals and there's some glitter ones underneath. A unique pigment here. And then I have three of the um, Stila Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows. These are amazing. I've got um, Wonderlust, which is a duochrome. Um, Kit and Karma and Rose Gold Retro. Live for those. They're amazing. 
I have a thing as well, when something's like fairly new, I love to keep it in the packaging for like a couple of months and then I get to the point where I'm like, right, that's it, like packaging's done. Like it's time for the packaging to go and that's when I, well, I'm not ready yet so that's staying in. So that's that drawer. This drawer. Bronzers, powders, cream bronzers, highlighters, blushes, the whole sh palettes. Right back there, I actually have two Urban Decay highlighters back there, but I don't really like them. They're very, like, glittery but dusty at the same time. Again, similar with this um, Jeffree Star Frozen Peach highlight, actually. I don't know if it's because it's a Supreme Frost. Actually, I'm not so keen on this. So let's start the front. So every day I live for this. It's battered, it's bruised. This, um, the Ultra Bronze from Revolution. It's literally £4. I literally use that every day. I've got MAC in Dark Tan. Makeup Forever Pro Fusion. I've got MAC Gold Deposit as well in there. Maybelline um, Medium Dark Contour, which I really like this for nose contour. I've got two collection powders and a um, stay matte from Maybelline pressed powders. They're the only real pressed powders I use. I haven't really tried and tested loose powders yet. So I only really have those three um, pressed powders. And then I have my Chanel Tan de Soleil. Live this. Love this. Collection Sheer Loose Powder. Um, Primark Banana Powder. Sheer Cover Powder. Um, and then I have the Primark Concealer. This is battered. Um, in chestnut, but this is actually so nice for cool contour, so love that. Um, I've got MAC Prep and Prime Loose Powder, and I've got this one from True Devil. These are from um, SBC, sorry, and these are cream contours. Um, I have two medium, uh, sorry, two dark, a medium, and a light, and I like to use to mix them for contouring and stuff. Highlighter wise, I've got NARS Albatross, um, Jouer Citrine. I've got two Primark ones, Brunch Club, Mink, Pink. I've got MAC in Soft and Gentle. Um, these I used to swear by in high school. I loved these. Um, the MUA highlighters, the Undress Your Skin high baked highlighters. And I had the pinky one and the white gold one, which clearly I loved. I've got the um, Mary Luminizer by Benefit. Um, obviously the Jeffree Star Frozen Peach, MUA Contour Powder, Nards Laguna, and um, an MUA blush in the back. And then them two Urban Decay ones. And then down the side, we have the Doll Light Duo um, by Doll Beauty. That's amazing. We've got the Tanya Burke Cosmetics Rosy Flush Cheek Palette. And I actually love all three of these. The highlighter reminds me of um, that MUA one. The blush reminds me of um, NARS Orgasm. And then that bronze is, it's like dark tan MAC bronzer, but shimmery. It's so nice. Love that. And then my fave, the Soph highlighter palette from Revolution. This is amazing. I, mean, I love this palette. And then at the back here, I've just got an Anastasia contour kit, the medium one. Um, and then I've got the two PS, the Luna Glow Palette and the Pure Glow Palette. And then just here I've got the Collection Contour Kit because I've not tried that out yet. So that's that drawer. Final drawer. I've got James Charles in the top drawer, Jacqueline Hill in this drawer and then the rest is in here. So these are Morphe and then the Jacqueline Hill Palette. So Morphe I've got the... Um, 35O, 35OM, and the 35T, I believe. Classic Jaclyn Hill palette, absolute fave. Also, this palette, holy grail, isn't even a joke. This is the palette I go to. If I need a night out look in five minutes, this is what I'm going to. The Violet Voss, holy grail. I've got a Ted Baker palette here. This is a Colourpop um, Lippy Sticks collection. Sits kind of like in this gap in the middle. I've got the BH um, Weekend Festival palette. Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH as well. 
so they sit in the middle there and then we have this so i have the huda beauty warm brown obsessions sitting on the top because i use basically these three corner shades i use as like a smoked liner every day i did that as um in my everyday makeup tutorial i've got naked one two um naked three naked heat naked cherry um two faced sweet peach I've got the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, the Subculture Palette, um, the Zoeva Cocoa Blend, Zoeva um, Matte Palette there. These two are, again, faves. I love Soph. The um, Original Palette and the Extra Spice from Revolution. Um, I've got a Cargo Palette in here. Um, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. I've got the Huda Beauty um, textured shadows, the rose gold um, palette, that's just the first original one. I've got the Desert Dusk palette as well from Huda Beauty, this is a fave. Um, I've got the Anastasia lip palette there and then I've got a MAC Warm Neutrals palette there. And that is my shadow drawer. So everything for the Alex 9 drawer. On the top here we have an acrylic organiser for my lippies. This is just a teeny little jar for my lip liners. And then this is actually, this um, acrylic drawers are from Muji. Now, in order to store these, I'm gonna get another one of them and just stack it underneath. So this will actually be higher soon, but that's fine. Um, so in this first one here, at the back of my favourites, which are the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So yeah, Sell Out, Child Star, Lady Balls, love those. All of these up to here. All of these are Colourpop Liquid Lipsticks. I've got the I, Heart, um, I Love Sorry He Collection, um, Ultra Glossy, Ultra Satin or Ultra Matte Liquid Lips there. And then I've got a Steeler one in the shade Backy and I've got the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin and so that's the bottom drawer and then this drawer is kind of like more affordable so I have five of the Stay Matte liquid lipsticks from Rimmel these are really really nice like everyday liquid lipsticks I wear these to work a lot just with me talking and drinking tea all day they come up they um tend to last the best for me i've got two of the nyx butter glosses in the middle here and then these are all the um nyx soft matte lip creams here and then i've got two here of the nyx lip lingeries i've got a nyx candy slick i've got kat von d lolita in the back and then these um two ultra matte liquid lips that smell like chocolate um from l'oreal they're amazing too and then Behind here, I just have like little storage, like travel brush cases and storage pots. My Style Pro, which I use to clean my brushes. My Jaclyn Hill brush roll, which is my, just is just beautiful. And then at the back here, I, ha I have this Christmas collection from MAC, which was the, um, it was like shiny pretty thing sweet assortment or something. Love that. So I keep that behind here because it looks pretty. And then in here, I have like either MAC, NYX, um, Maybelline, Rimmel, those sort of lip liners in there. I don't need loads, I only have one set of lips, you know. On the top here, I used to be obsessed with collecting MAC lipsticks. So these are all MAC. These two are MAC, this one's limited edition. And then this is a MAC liquid lipstick as well. And then just here I have a Revolution Pro liquid lipstick that I want to try. And then this side I have two Jouer liquid lipsticks in blush and creme brulee so that is my whole makeup collection so i keep my brushes what's new in the um flower pots from ikea i don't put anything in the bottom of them i literally just shove them all in this is the jaclyn hill collection my god she is amazing she is the reason i got into makeup she taught a bitch how to blend i love that woman to death so that's the jack and hill collection and then in here this is my like eye brushes and then these two are face brushes like just a mixture of brands i've got um some morphe ones these aren't even branded um some spectrum ones 
some BH Cosmetics ones, and then I have loads of like Real Techniques brushes as well. They live on the edge of my desk. So that's that. So it may seem like a lot to some, may seem like nothing to some. I hope you enjoyed my makeup collection. Let me know what tutorials you want. Thanks everyone for watching. Love you, bye.